so here uh, let's discuss about functions uh, there are actually function is something you know I think you so it's a piece of code that uh, that is reusable piece of code that we, we can define once uh, and call it uh, we can call that again and again yeah we can reuse bunch of statements we can put and we can give a name that is a function uh, using that name we can call that function again and again so uh, in a javascript we can define functions using function keyword function function name and, uh, so it is simply this is how this is this is how we can define a function in javascript in calling a function we can call it using uh, the, that function name and parameters that is very simple uh, and uh, when it comes to passing arguments we can pass uh, this is one way we can define first uh, let's discuss about the types of functions one is a uh, a simple function you can define another one is a uh, this is called anonymous functions okay the function without name is called anonymous function okay so i can call x y z okay or uh, add i'm calling some variable add equal to function so there is name here there is no name here okay and function can take arguments okay these are called these are called formal arguments okay so uh, we can define just like uh, since we don't have uh, we don't specify type anywhere we just need to unlike java other languages we don't need to specify any type we just leave those names okay and uh, in fact in javascript okay let me before i uh, we discuss about that anonymous function let's check uh, how to work with variables so here if i define a comma b comma c okay and uh, receive okay a comma b comma c so now if i call foo two comma with a just two argument two uh so in other languages it is kind of error but in javascript that is not an error okay so it is kind of it's the first it is the order the order in which we pass the arguments all other are undefined can you see that is what undefined uh, uh, type undefined uh, a literal this is what it is any variable that is not uh, defined so it should be undefined so something like uh, this b and c are there but they are uh, undefined since they are not passed and see you can also call it is most liberal that is re and uh, the javascript is we must be careful sometimes it is the weak type okay so we will see uh, about that so the most unlike other languages it doesn't throw any error okay the most of the things that we might expect that is an error so if I don't call here, you see all are other undefined. Okay, all variables. So foo, and uh, the what kind of type you can pass? My name is Bob. The first argument I am giving string. Second argument 3.14 I'm giving floor. Third argument false. I'm giving. Okay. Now you see all these tar arguments. You see first one. Yeah. First one is a string, a second one I printed 3.14 here, right? And a third one is a false. So, since it is dynamic type, you don't have any restriction what kind of way value you will be passing, function will be receiving. Okay? And so, let's say if I give two only, third variable will be false okay so sorry third variable will be undefined sorry because uh, it, the, the order in which yeah yeah it is the order in which they are passed mm. Mm. 
see for that reason that that whole thing is on ours that is the difference between static type and dynamic type when it comes to checking uh, the uh, uh, variable type and value because in static type the, that compiler takes care of the type checking okay but here there is no such a thing so the it is on developer so you can you can in such a case you can use type of okay type of uh, type of uh, keyword and, uh, that can be used also as a statement or function so we can use that and we can so we can validate to which type it is and if that is not uh, uh, that is not a desired type let's say you are expecting string but you are getting a float okay so in such a case uh, we have to do that manual validation and throw an error or uh, return something the for that reason there are other implementation for javascript typescript is there okay okay so the that typescript is like uh the which is a uh, which adds a type checking for the javascript okay it's like a uh, the variant so the, the syntax but it, but it generates the compiles that code into the javascript okay the but that uh, language uh, syntax offers that uh, type uh, checking okay so yeah adds you see the javascript and adds an optional static typing to the language okay for that reason this uh, type typescript is born okay so there are other variants as well so this is the thing now yeah here is our function let's say you want to you don't want to you want to pass first value and last value what about the middle one you don't <laughs> so uh, no, we don't. We can't specify here. Yeah, fine. Uh, we we can't specify. We can't give gap. So that is a syntax error here. So in such a case, uh, we can leave that. Yeah, undefined. Uh, we can leave null. So that is how it is. And uh, so there is one thing here. Uh, this is very basic and uh, we were discussing that uh, uh, anonymous functions right we came back here so anonymous function is function without name okay so a comma p and return return is something which returns the value back to the caller so now uh, you see here this is anonymous function yeah yeah it is throwing an error okay so we can put that into the variable like uh, yeah add and now see this is anonymous function and basically you can write a function and you can call that on fly as well okay you see that one so this let me deconstruct this this is anonymous function right function without name and uh, i'm just uh, as i defined i'm calling that okay so but uh, since why i'm putting parentheses around because it throws a, a syntax error okay because uh, it is thinking you know curly braces are there and uh, so the javascript engine you know it, it, we get the parsing you know that syntax error the function requires the yeah here it is throwing yeah it, do, it doesn't actually interpret that properly we get the syntax error here it is asking for the name but here so that it hold as since i specified we specified in parentheses you know parentheses when we want to evaluate when to use this is the function you know operator precedence let's say if i give two two into five plus ten what is it yeah yeah but I want to specify, do that first. In such a case, we we increase the pre precedence using parentheses. We did the same thing, same kind of thing, and call that function. So it is just like a use and throw. 
okay using through disposable function okay and uh, but you want to use and that we can assign that to any any, any variable now add is a add contains a add is a variable which which is holding a function this is a beauty here okay so you can you can you can, uh, uh, you can assign anything to the variable not only a literals of uh, any data type but also uh, you can also uh, store a uh, functions in a variable okay the in fact instead of storing we can say this functions this variable refers to that function okay so now i can call uh, 3 comma 9 so you see this is happening okay so that is uh, that is anonymous functions okay and new fun new variants are there okay so uh, this uh, new variant function it is called arrow function okay so in other languages this is called a lambda okay so same kind of yeah java also there is also a lambda function lambda yeah yeah it was added in java uh, 8 so okay so this this is also very powerful so here so how do you write a syntax for the uh, so this is kind of another variant for anonymous functions okay arrow function is also another variant for anonymous function so uh, the one difference is uh, here you use function keyword but here we won't use anything arrow okay a into i just want to return is where okay okay so what happened here here is the function okay so what is a variable so this is a syntax you you specify arguments it receives a comma b okay and arrow and just body here okay so return statement is return statement is not mandatory if you are uh, uh, you have only one value that you are returning okay since uh, here a plus b means what what i'm doing i'm just taking a uh, two a and b as a parameters okay and uh, just computing that and returning that this is equivalent to uh, where is this one this one okay that is equivalent to function a comma b return a plus b okay so i haven't assigned that let me assign that to sum variable if i give sum 9 comma 10 got it 19 working right mm -hmm. so there is a post ecma script uh default parameters were added in post ecma script okay so it wasn't the case uh uh pre uh like a before before ecma script uh, 2015 uh 2015 there was no such concept as default parameters okay so uh, uh later after uh 2015 ecma script 2015 so this default parameters were added let's say what is it so let me define a uh, function bar okay a comma b comma c console dot log of uh, or receive or let's say arguments okay uh okay so so it's fine it's working let's say that uh, 
I want to have a function. For, like, what if I if I don't pass anything? So we have seen this. Uh, uh, other two variables are undefined. What if what if I want uh, have a use case? If uh, a parameter is not passed, I want to use something default. In such a case, I can I can do as simple as just we can provide that default value in a function definition. So if I call to provide, you can see third one is three. Okay, why? Because I passed the only for, only first one and the second one is I define and third one is okay. So if we put here. So here second one is nine. Because I haven't passed anything, I use the default parameters. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. So now let's let's uh, go back to arrow functions. So uh, let's say foo. Okay. Square x. So this is the operator. This is power operator. Okay means x square double star is a power up okay yeah so where single star is multiplication double star is a power square okay or let's put so that is very simple x square square if i type 3 3 square is 9 right 9 is 80 so what if i want to write something complex not just uh, you know this is this is where it reduces a lot of syntax lot of syntax like you don't have to use a function keyword and you don't have to if you have a single parameter you don't have to use parentheses as well but you have more in such a case you, you can put them put that in uh, uh, parentheses okay this is very useful in a functional programming uh, when working with arrays uh, objects okay we will see Let's say if I have a, let's say if I want to do something, let's say, equal to a comma b. So when, when it is complex, it's more than just not, it is more than just returning a value. In such a case, we can use parentheses. Okay, for a, uh, arrow functions as well. Okay, in such a case, now c equal to a plus b. In this case, you have to use the return. If you want to return anything, okay? Because you have multiple statements. So when you have a single statement, return is implicit. You don't have to use return keyword. But when you have multiple statements here, they have to specify the return. Okay? Do, do you understand the difference? Yeah. So now I can call two comma nine. Sorry. Yeah. You see. Return value is 11 and uh, console.log is 11. Okay, so we are just uh, logging that value and returning that value. So, that, that. okay, so here is the log, the return. Value. Okay, so that, that is about uh, so we have we have seen what we have seen so far. The, how we can define a function and anonymous functions and arrow functions and default parameters that are added after the ECMAScript 2015. So previously uh, we used to write uh, some extra code for default parameters. 
checking if uh, the pa if the past argument is undefined or not if undefined assigning a some value to it okay so that was the that was uh, the case before uh, default parameters so because if a parameter is passed that would be undefined right so we, we can check if it is undefined or not and then we can assign that value that is how uh, we used to work so because let's say if i have a uh, let's say sorry i'm just uh, habitual of python so i wrote diff diff yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so i mostly work with python so instead of uh, uh, function we got uh, diff here so yeah yeah that is the difference here diff, diff, between python and uh, JavaScript, of course, in Python, we don't use curly braces. Console.log of uh, type of uh, A. Okay, so what is type? Uh, other one I have one pass which is a type B sorry type undefined so this is how we used to work before uh, uh, default parameters were introduced so checking you know x equal to uh, type of uh, let's say we have variable a okay so or just a simple if condition okay if type of uh, a equal to equal to undefined and assign some value default value to a that is how we used to work okay uh, repost param default parameters were introduced uh, we don't have to do that we can use the default param 